open After Effects and create a new composition. Rename it a cinematic text effect. I am setting the duration of about 8 seconds. With 1920 by 1080 resolution at 24 frames per second. Set the background color to black. And click OK. Let's get started by dragging the background layer. Link in the description for source files. Press S and set the scale value to 75%. Now let's create a black solid layer. Right click and click New. Select Solid. I am calling it Block Solid. Now set the color to black. And click OK. Bring the black solid layer below the background layer. Let's make some room. On top of the toolbar, you can see a rectangle tool. Right click and hold. Now select the ellipse tool. Double click it to make a perfect mask. Now select the background layer and press F on your keyboard. Increase the feather value to around 1000. In the effects and presets menu, type black and white. Drag the effect to the background layer. To make it look dark and noisy, select the background layer. Press T and reduce the opacity to around 20%. This looks a lot better, and customized. Select both the layers and press U. Right click and select Pre-Compose. Rename it as the background layer. And click OK. Now select the type tool, and type your text. I am naming it as, Cinematica for this tutorial. You can type your customized name. To make this look cinematic, I am using the font Lotto. You can download this font, from the link in the description. Set the font size to around 250 pixels. Now let's align it to the center. To see the Align tab, now select Window, and click Align to open the tab. Now let's increase the scale for a keyframe animation. Set the scale value to 180. It won't align to the center. So we need to set the anchor point to the center. We can do this by this method. You can use the shortcut Y on your keyboard. Or you can go to the toolbar and select Pan Behind Tool. Now to set the anchor point to the center. Hold Ctrl and drag the anchor point to the center. This will make sure it is perfectly aligned. Get to the beginning of the timeline. Click the stopwatch icon to set a keyframe. Go around 4 seconds and set the scale value to 100. Select both the keyframes and easy ease them. Open the graph editor. And adjust the graph to something like this. Now you can see how this text animates. It appears from nothing. So let's adjust the transparency settings. Press T to open opacity. Get to the beginning of the timeline. Set the value to 0. Go around 5 frames. And set the value to 100. We are going to add a blur effect. Drag the Gaussian blur effect from the effects and presets tab. Now let's adjust a few settings. Set the blur ES value to 50. Get to the beginning of the timeline and click the stopwatch icon. Move around 1 and half seconds and set the value to 0. Select both the keyframes and easy ease them. Do the same for the other keyframes. Now it looks as a smooth animation. Press U on your keyboard. Get to around 6 seconds. Set a keyframe. Move around 8 seconds. Increase the blur ES value to around 50. Now you can see how this animates. As it slowly blurs out like a fade in and fade out effect. Get around 6 seconds. Open opacity and set the keyframe. Move around to 8 seconds. Now decrease the opacity value to 0. This has a nice fade out effect. This doesn't look much more cinematic. So we are going to create a camera effect. Right click and select new. Click camera. Set it to one node camera. Rename it to camera. I keep 50mm preset. Now click OK. 
Camera want work on 2D layers. So we are going to change it to 3D layer. Check the 3D box for each layer. Now let's change a few settings in camera. So it looks a bit cool. Move around 4 seconds. Select the camera layer. Now press P on your keyboard. And set the keyframe as its default position. Go around 8 seconds. And increase the z-axis value to a point where it looks to move forward. This creates a zoom effect. Don't forget easy ease the keyframes, and change the graph as previously shown. This animation looks a bit cool. But it lacks many things. Let's give life to it. Get to the project, and search for the dust particles footage. Check the description for the source file links. It is free to use. There are many stock footages available for free online. You can use your own creativity. Drag it to the top of all the layers. But the black screen makes the other layers hidden. Let's change few things. Select the layer. And change the mode to screen. This will remove the black from the footage. Now you can see, both dust and animation. Let's add a cinematic lens flare effect form the project. Drag it to the top of all the layers. Drag the footage after the camera animation starts. So it is perfectly aligned to the timeline. Change the mode to screen. To make it vibrant you can also choose add. Select lens flare. Press T for opacity. Now get around 4 seconds. Set the value to 0. Move around half a second and change the value to 100. Select both the keyframes. Right click and easy ease them. This looks much better than before. We are going to make this more cinematic. For that let's create a light. Right click and select new. Click light. Rename it to spotlight. Make sure you keep the light type to spotlight. Change the color of the light to something goldish. The choice is yours. Now click OK. Select Spotlight. Press P to open position. Decrease the position of the Z axis. The convergence on the light also decreases. I am setting the value around minus 1000. Rearrange few layers. Select Background Layer. Press P to open position. Increase the Z axis value to around 200. To make it look better. I played with all the settings to achieve the perfect look. Now this looks amazing. But there are a few steps to finish it. After all this, select all the layers. Right click. Select Pre-Compose. I am renaming it as the main cinematic text. Click OK. Get to the beginning of the timeline. Select the composition. Press T to open opacity. Click the stopwatch icon and change the value to 0. Move around few frames and change it to 100. Move around to 7 seconds. Add a keyframe. Get around 8 seconds. Change the value to 0. Select all the keyframes. Right click. And easy ease them. I adjusted it a bit. According to the time duration. This is missing a layer now. Let's add a letterbox to it. It is given in the source files. Add it to the project. Place it above all the layers. I went to Premiere Pro to make color adjustments and added sound effect to make it cinematic. Finally it looks like this.